Hello. So today I'm going to take you through a quick tutorial about how to set up your uh, ESP8266 module with uh, ESP8266 Basic. Uh, you can get this by going to ESP8266Basic.com. So to get started, uh, I'm going to go over to the to the uh, to the download page. Okay, so right here you can download it. You can also get the source code and upload that using the uh, the Arduino environment for the ESP8266. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the download link. I'm just going to go over to Dropbox. And it's going to prompt me to download. So I'm going to hit download. I'm probably going to switch up the way that I'm hosting this pretty soon here. Keep in mind this is running a little bit slow on my system because I'm running the screen recording software. Yep, here we are. So it's downloading. There we are. So I'm just going to click on that. Okay, so it popped up this notice. Um, it'll do this on some systems, not all. Um, Windows 8, it will. I think Windows 10, it will. So I'm going to come down here to more info, and I'm going to hit run anyway. And give it a second. It'll pop up. Okay, so here's the uh, the ESP8266 flasher. I'm going to come over here and select my COM port, which on my system is going to be COM3. Uh, that's what's assigned to my Arduino board, which I'm using as a uh, USB to serial converter. I'm going to select my flash size. I'm going to do uh, 1 meg for the particular module I'm going to flash this onto. And I'm just going to take this and show you my flashing setup. So let's see. There we are. So my flashing setup has my ESP8266 module. It also has my Arduino hooked up with the uh, TX and RX pins. I have my GPIO zero grounded, um, just like the, the schematic on the website. So there we are. let's put this back up here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to come over here to the flashing instructions. Um, you can get the flashing instructions pretty easily, um, and they're they're relatively clear. So you download the executable and you run it. You select your memory size. You hook up your uh, your ESP with this configuration here. Make sure that you have GPIO zero grounded. This is only when you're getting it initially set up. After that, you don't need to have GPIO grounded. In fact, if you have it grounded, it's not going to boot. So what I'm going to do now is come back over here. And I'm going to turn my module on, make sure it's in flashing mode, and firmware flash. Hit the button, give it a second. It's going to attempt to, to upload the code. You're going to see the lights flash. It's going to upload. just taking a second there it's a little bit slower on the system right now because I'm running the screen recording software so 
Normally it's much faster. Only got a dual core cell on laptop I'm doing this on right now. So here we are. It uploaded. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm just going to close out of here. So now I'm going to give it a second. I'm going to go and uh, check my, uh, my internet connections. See what I got for networks. Notice how I have this ESP network. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to hit connect. So that takes a second. Once it's done connecting. Uh, we'll be able to access the ESP8266 module. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here. There's a link here that you can go to, um, or you can just go up to your browser and type it in. I'm just going to click on the link here. Um, you're going to go to IP address 192.168.4.1 and when we click on that link you're going to come up to um, a screen like this you got some different options up here you have the VARS menu which is going to give you a, uh, a variable dump all the variables that you're currently using you can use up to 50 right now um, you have the edit screen um, which allows you to edit programs. So if I wanted to say print hello world and put end and hit save, okay. If I leave this blank, um, it's going to save to the default program that's going to load as soon as this thing turns on. If I save it as um, a file name I can run those those other things from uh, from the default program so what I'm going to do now is now that this one's saved I'm just going to come over here to hit run and we're going to see hello world so I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go over to the uh, to the examples and one of the ones I like to use is the GPIO example okay now this is pretty easy yep. oh I'm connected to my ESP8266 module right now so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back over to my normal network I'm also going to hook up an LED So, this right here, um, what I'm doing is I'm hooking up an LED. I have my GPIO 0 pin and GPIO 2 broken out here for this particular module. Um, they're broken out onto these little headers. And I have an LED, an old LED from a PC, which I'm just going to hook up like that. Okay. So right here on the screen, this is an example program for controlling the I.O. pins. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to switch back over to my ESP module. You can, you can get this thing connected to your network, um, but we'll go and we'll just do it standalone for right now. Okay, so let's go and let's just go back to the home page here. So we're going to go to edit. I'm just going to paste this code in. 
here we are. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to hit run. So this right here, it's going to ask me for the pin number and the status that I want to put that pin at. So I'm going to put that to 1. And I'm going to hit set pin. Notice how the LED turns on. I'm going to set that to 0. Set pin. Notice how the LED turns off. I'm going to do uh, PWM output. So I'm going to set that to like 50. Set PWM and notice how it dimly lights um, and I'm going to go up to a thousand <clears throat> and notice how it gets really bright and it's going to get a little brighter oh, hold on. There we are. Okay, so uh, that right there is just a, uh, a simple example about how to use this, um, and I'm sure I'm going to post about post up some more videos and better examples over time. It takes a little while to get these things really going. Okay, so there we are. And I'm going to exit out of the video here. Yep.